C++ unions. Union and structure operations are basically the same except that union members can only be used one at a time. A union follows the same general syntax as a structure. What causes this difference is that a union is a memory location that is shared by two or more different types of variables. Here we've declared a union named sample union with two data members. When you declare a union variable, memory space is allocated to compensate for the largest data member in the union. We have now declared the variable alphabets using our user defined data type sample union. In this example, number is the largest data member in the union. Therefore, four bytes of memory space are allocated for the variable alphabets. To access a union data member, use the same syntax as a structure. Here we've assigned the value B to the data member letter. Although four bytes of memory space have been allocated, letter will still only use one byte of the allocated memory space. When data members of the same union are assigned new values, their previous values are replaced. When the data member number is accessed and assigned a new value, the previous information that was stored is replaced. This is the compiler output for alphabets.letter. This concludes our section on unions. Next we will be discussing classes.